Hi there. Uh, we'll be talking about Slack. Slack is the communication tool that we use to talk between the studios, also between the studios and the commission staff and anyone else that might need help and want to provide support on these topics. Uh, Slack is a messaging application, so think about it like it's email, text, and chat rooms kind of all mashed into one. The URL that we use for this is libinnovationstudio.slack.com. When you're using this service, you'll be talking to other people that are in the library studios. You'll be talking to Nebraska Library Commission staff, and you'll also be talking to Nebraska Innovation Studio staff, primarily me. During your training, you should get an invitation if you're interested in joining Slack and participating that way. Uh, it's a link that you follow and you can get set up from there. It takes about five minutes to set up your account. When you do set up your account, I'm gonna ask for just two pieces of information. I'm gonna ask for your name and uh, under what I do, I'm gonna ask for your city and then your role. So if you're a library staff, I'll have you do that there. Or if you're a laser trainer, a CNC trainer, whatever, go ahead and list that there. It does have fields for other and more information, but please do not provide those. If you want to share your phone number with someone, I want you to choose that. I don't want to be responsible for that information. The layout of Slack, as you can see over here, uh, is fairly simple. On the left-hand side, we have all of our different channels, all of our different chat rooms, if you will. On the right-hand side is the actual forum part of it, where people's messages are going to be listed, uh, any pictures, anything that they upload will be there. Uh, these different channels, you can think about them as, as chat rooms. In them, you can read history, you can ask people for help, you can share helpful links that you may want to show other people and kind of share. Different channel topics, uh, they're going to be organized primarily by machine, and then we do also have a few other support channels listed in there. So if you have a question about the vinyl cutter, go ahead and post it in the vinyl cutter. Uh, if you have a finished project that you really want to show off, you're really proud of, share it in there. Again, the layout that you see over here, on the left-hand side are all those different channels we just talked about, and on the right-hand side is the actual room, the actual channel itself. Uh, threads, a lot of what you'll see me doing in this, in this forum, in this setting, uh, is gonna be organizing all of these different messages into threads, so that when someone six months from now has a question and they wanna see how this was solved, it's really easy for them to jump back in there and figure out exactly what happened and what order things occurred in. When you have a problem, you may contribute by you know, sharing that problem. Maybe you fixed it. If that's the, how it went, that's fine. Go ahead, share how you fixed it. Uh, if you see someone else having an issue, please, by all means, jump in and help out. Uh, I'm pretty fast when it comes to Slack, but you know, if you're faster than me, by all means, go for it. Uh, you can also share helpful links as you're going. So we have a case study here of uh, CNC help. Ben was having an issue on the CNC router. He shared a whole bunch of information saying, hey, I'm having these issues. These were the settings I had. And you can see he and I went back and forth quite a bit on solving that problem. Going into the thread that I talked about earlier, uh, we can see here, here were my suggestions on, you know, change these settings, adjust these things, and let me know what happens. He and I again went back and forth for some time and then we're able to get that good. Uh, we also have a link here. So for example, I was, uh, I found a video on YouTube about Adobe Mesh Mixer, making your own custom 3D files. I found it really helpful and I wanted to share it with people. So I posted it in the 3D printing subreddit. We have two different options for browser and mobile. If you do choose to use the browser, you'll have to bookmark or type in the libinnovationstudios.slack.com. Uh, or if you set it up on your phone, you'll set it up one time and go from there. I will ask you to adjust the notifications to whatever you like, whatever you need. Uh, I personally have mine set to notify me whenever anyone posts anywhere, but if you aren't interested in that, don't set all your notifications like that. Uh, make it custom to what you need. Uh, that's everything that we have for Slack. Thanks.